Mark 12, chapter 29 through the 30th verse. Muslims agree with Christians that there is only one God, but how do Muslims love God without a change of heart? The change of heart, look at the Muslims. Look at them. Jesus said, by the fruits you shall know them. Do men get a fix from the thistle or grace from the thorn? He said, every good tree will be a good fruit and every evil tree will be evil fruit. Here is the test. The fruits. Islam has created the biggest society of teetotalers in the world. There are some 1,000 million Muslims in the world and almost as a whole, they are teetotalers. They don't imbibe alcohol. Here is the fruit. My own particular race, the most racist people on earth, you know, the Hindus of India, the, 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 the caste Hindus, you know, the, uh, the, the super Brahmin caste, my nation. And you see, the same nation, the most racist nation on earth, becomes one who accepts the black and the white, the rich and the poor in his brotherhood. A change. With all these claims that are being made for Christianity, Jesus Christ transforming people's lives, you know, the, the old you goes out of you and the new you comes into you. I said, my dear brothers and sisters, look, in this mighty nation of America, according to Brother Swaggart, 11 million drunkards. That's what he says. 11 million drunkards and 44 million heavy drinkers. Your nation. And Brother Swaggart says, I see no difference between them means 55 million. He considers them to be drunkards. The only difference is that he's not going far enough. In Islam, we say even you're a social drinker. The Holy Quran says, but before that the Prophet Muhammad said, so whatever intoxicates in greater quantity is forbidden even in smaller quantity. No excuse for a nip or a tot. Out. The Holy Quran says, Ya Yuhallazina Amunu, so all you who believe, in Namal Khamru, most certainly intoxicants, while Maisir and gambling. Brother Sagat in his book on gambling says, 54 billion a year you are squandering on gambling. Well, Maisiru, well, Ansabu and fortune telling, well, Aslamu and idol worship, Rizum min amal shaitan, are an abomination of Satan's handiwork, Fajtani buhu la allakum tuflihun. It's a shun such abomination that you may prosper. And wine barrels were emptied in the streets of Medina, never to be refilled. This is the fruit. This is the fruit of this teaching. With 2,000 years of preaching, look at it. You have these powers of miracle working. Christ gives life. He heals the sick. Muhammad couldn't. In the name of Muhammad, they couldn't do it. I says, my brothers, you don't read the scriptures. Jesus Christ, he said, for there shall arise many false Christs and false prophets who will show you great signs and wonders if it were possible to deceive the very elect. If false Christ can do that, if false Christ can perform miracles, if false prophets can perform miracles, then I says, is this a test of your faith? No. Then Jesus Christ tells those who are doing this miraculous work. He's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew that on that day, on the last day, on the day of judgment, he says, many will come to me on that day saying, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name do many mighty works? In your name, in the name of Jesus, didn't you do all these things? Didn't we do all that? He said, yes. He said, then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I said, yeah, explain. You. He won't tell the Jews, depart from me. For sack, get away, I don't know you. He won't tell the Hindus, get away from me. Or the atheists, get away from me. He will tell you. I want to know why. Why would he tell you? I don't even know you, get out. I says, look. These are not the test. John the Baptist, according to Jesus, one of the mightiest messengers of God. Jesus says, among those born of women, there has not risen another greater than John the Baptist. And yet he performed no miracles. Did he? Show me. What did he do? What miracles? No, miracle is not a test. But the greater miracle is that without any miracles, you transform nations. Nations are transformed. 1,000 million people, they don't imbibe alcohol because of the dictates of Muhammad.